We're farming about 400 acres. Uh, two thirds is peaches and one third is grapes. And probably 80% of the acreage is in some form of uh, mini sprinklers or drip. Uh, by far and away, we're using mini sprinklers and we're seeing uh, more consistent production, uh, increased production, and more consistent growth across the field due to the uniformity of the water application. The mini sprinkler systems are using water from the Colorado River and uh, requires a pretty good filtration due to the uh, organic matter and sand and sediment in the river. Usually there's a pre-filter before the pump that catches the bigger organic matter and then we're relying on different uh, filters after the pump uh, to, to keep the water clean enough. The filtration has to be matched to the size of the sprinkler heads uh, to avoid problems with plugging uh, the sprinklers. On the maintenance side, the low volume sprinkler systems do require regular maintenance. Uh, normally when we do an irrigation, we'll have somebody go through and check the sprinkler heads for plugging. Uh, the filters at the pumps have to be checked uh, depending on the condition of the river water uh, several times a day. Uh, a lot of that is automated on the backwashing and the cleaning of the filters, so we have controllers that will be either be activated by pressure or by a time clock, and, uh, but that still requires uh, monitoring to see that they're functioning properly. So when at the time of irrigation we have somebody go through and check the nozzles for plugging, um, there can be damage from pickers stepping on uh, sprinkler heads and knocking them over. Uh, we've had some animal damage. Uh, it's very rare, but they will chew on lines sometime to get water. Periodically, say every uh, couple months, it's necessary to go through and open the ends of the hose lines to remove the buildup of silt that accumulates even though we have uh, filters, there's still a lot of stuff that stays in solution in the river water and will accumulate in the hose lines. So that has to be checked and the ends of the lines periodically flushed. Well, we can vary uh, the length of the irrigation and we're doing that, um, you know, normally running things 24 hours in the early season to fill the soil profile with moisture. And then during mid-season, July and August, due to the stage uh, the fruit development is at, we're reducing sprinkler times to 12 hours or reducing a uh, number of irrigations, lengthening the frequency. We have some control over the growth of the trees that way as well, canopy management. And then once the fruit starts to mature and change color, we're going to 24-hour irrigations at more regular intervals as the fruit finishes leading up to picking. Uh, we are converting as much as we can to the mini sprinklers on the peaches and the grapes as well, um, mainly because of the uh, uniformity of growth in the orchard and the increased yields that we're seeing. We have some blocks where we've converted from furrow to many sprinklers and we've had a uh, noticeable increase in the production of fruit from those uh, situations.